Alright guys, now we are going to talk about different types of feedback. So I've got Tyler here with his eyes closed. Um, we are going to progress him through being probably very poor at performance to hopefully through some feedback, both intrinsic and extrinsic feedback and knowledge of performance and knowledge of results, we're going to try to improve his performance. So I'm going to place him on one of these cones. I'm not telling you which one. You may have an idea based on you know, the way we're moving. He doesn't know if we're on the cone, left of the cone, right of the cone. He doesn't know anything to be honest. So I'm going to put him here. His goal is to handball the ball into the target, this target here. And to start off with, I'm not going to give him, I'm going to, I'm going to tell him where to go, but I'm not going to give him any external feedback. And he's going to have limited intrinsic feedback because he can't see, well, at least limited visual feedback. So, Tyler, when you're ready, let's go. That was not terrible. I should have told you that. Go again. Oh, sorry, yeah. <laughs> he can't catch the ball either. Alright. Let's go, let's get a couple more for baseball when you're ready. I can't give him any feedback. There we go. Right, zero there. Told him to power. Give him some feedback. Zero. So we're at three. Now Tyler, I'll tell you what he did. And I'll see if we can uh, improve from there. First one was two to the left. So outside two on the left. The second one was eight. Back in the middle, don't know how you manage that. And the last one was with zero to the right. That one was significantly zero to the right. So I need you to push, so you to push more left. Okay, it's better. The left again, about the same down there, right? So that's closer. You're about five centimetres outside. somewhere on the border. So we're giving some auditory feedback. Perfect, do that again. You're slightly on the left of the, of the 10 and 8, but that was good. 10, perfect. <laughs> again, all right, so I said 10, perfect. That's good. I can say do it again. I could probably try to give him some knowledge of um, performance, but at the moment I'm pretty happy with his knowledge of results. He's hitting the 10, so let's just see how he goes. Do it again. Eight. Slightly too far left, eight. And you should do this with your eyes closed more often. Okay, that was significantly right. All right, let's progress this. Um, we don't really need to because he's nailing it, but Kylie, you can open your eyes now. So now I'm able to give him some auditory feedback. We're going for this target here. I'm trying to put you off. We're going for this target here. Um, I probably don't need to give him much auditory feedback now because he's you know, a reasonable associative stage learner. He probably can give himself feedback. But say where you are, oh, let's see how we go. While we're on that, and I did have my eyes closed, right at the start of the video, coming back, because Luke was talking to you guys, and I'm getting this intrinsic feedback of what things I can hear, like, I knew that I was going in that direction because I heard his voice come from the left of where I was standing when he was saying to you guys, this is the target we're going for. So, you know, while I can see there, it's certainly still some intrinsic things that we'll get, and I guess the other thing that I'm getting throughout that, um, is the way the ball's contacting as I hit it. So there was somewhere I felt like I, I sort of mishit it, hit it on the outside of my hand and right in the middle. So that went a bit right and there's that right. So I get that feedback that it's gone right and intrinsically I felt where on my hand I hit that so I could adjust the place. Now obviously my skills actually are going to see. Now we're going to go for the other target here. Again, we're going consistent. All right, good. Let's try with Bonnie now, who is more of a cognitive stage learner. We'll see how we go. All right, so we're gonna go with Bonnie now. She is a cognitive stage learner, and I'm gonna place her at one of the cones. And we know we're going for the same target. I'm being very careful with the wording that I use so that Bonnie doesn't get the feedback that I accidentally gave Tyler. When you're ready, buddy, handball the ball. I'm not giving you any feedback. Do three of these. Okay, keep your eyes 
closed. We saw what happened there. I'm not giving you a feedback yet. We saw the result of that. I'm going to give you some auditory feedback now, Bonnie. I want you to take three steps to your left. One back to your right, sorry. <laughs> to your right. Yep, that's it. Perfect. And let's try again. I'll give you some feedback. So you're right in front of the target. That one went to the right just because it came off the side of your wrist. So as long as you hit it straight, we'll be good. Same again, I'll give you one more go and then I'll adjust you if I need to, alright? I want you to take two steps to your left. Yep, grab the ball there. Do exactly the same thing. Alright, eight. <laughs> there we go, cool. Again. Outside the right, so you're actually starting to, I'm just going to grab your shoulders, mate. Just stay, there we go, there. You're just moving a little bit to your right. Cool. Eight. Perfect. Let's try to do the exact same thing again. Okay, six. And you can see with you can see here with Bonnie guys, she's getting eight, she's getting sixes. I was pretty particular with Tyler. I wanted him to get a ten. I wanted him to get a ten. So I told him every little bit. Being a cognitive stage learner, yes, we still need to obviously get the result, but I'm pretty happy with a six or an eight for a cognitive stage learner. So I'm saying yeah, do, do the same thing again. Maybe that's not the best feedback. But I am trying to keep it simple and succinct. You can see that although Bonnie right now is way off to the left, she was always hitting it to the right, so just handball it to the right, so I just sort of adjust it for her. Open your eyes, go wherever you want to go, to, to hit like within that line, but you, if you want to straighten up, let's see if we can hit the 10. Cool, four. I want to see one more, I'm going to do a qualitative analysis here, do one more, I want to see this, go. Perfect. Good. Alright, so that one there, you hit, you actually hit the ball. I mean, ideally, you should get it back to me. You hit it there, which is fine. The first couple, and you're really up and under. Yeah. You just hit it straight there. Get in the 10, that'll be fine. There we go. Good. Eight. And again, you can see, I said ideally we want to hit this back to me, but cognitive stage learner, we don't care. We just want to hit the 10. So just hit it right on the end and hit the 10. <laughs> awesome. Eight. And one more, exactly the same. So you can see there, I was being a little bit more basic than I was with Tyler, if that's the right word. I didn't care that it wasn't backspin, I didn't care about the technique, I didn't care about the knowledge of performance, I only cared about the knowledge of results. We want to hit the 10 and that's what we're going to do with the more cognitive stage learners.